Welcome or welcome back to Earth's Medicine, where we explore the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. If you're new here and you like to learn about the medicinal uses of plants that are grown in Jamaica and in other parts of the world, then please consider subscribing and turning on your post notifications so that you will be alerted when we upload our next video. In today's video, we will be delving into the remarkable medicinal uses of a plant that has been used a lot in folklore medicine by various cultures to treat wounds that are very hard to heal. It's also used to treat a number of other maladies. However, this plant has properties that can be harmful to us if it is not used properly. So make sure to watch until the end to learn more about seam. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. You're now looking at a plant that is scientifically known as Hippobroma longiflora. Here in Jamaica, we commonly refer to it as Madame Fate. And in other parts of the world, it is also known as Madame Fate as well as Star of Bethlehem but there are other plants that are commonly known as star of Bethlehem so if you guys decide to do your own research on the plant it's best to use the scientific name now apart from star of Bethlehem and Madame Fate it is also commonly known as star flower and frog's flower among other common names it is a part of the Campanulaceae plant family and it happens to be the only species in its genus which is called Hippobroma. This plant is native to Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean but it has been naturalized in other tropical and subtropical countries. In Jamaica, like many of our other medicinal plants, it can be found growing wildly organically and abundantly in mostly moist shady places in places like people's yards along roadsides in forests and in other green spaces now in terms of its characteristics it's a plant that doesn't grow very tall so usually it grows to about 70 centimeters the leaves are lanceolate in shape with tooth edges they are also narrow at both ends and the tip is pointed. This plant doesn't have any petiole and the petiole is the part that connects the leaves to the stem. And as you can see, it has a rosette leaf arrangement, which makes it very easy to recognize. The leaves also have a prominent mid-vein and they are alternately arranged on the stem. These are the flowers. As you can see, they are white and they have long stalks. They are also star-shaped and this is the reason why the plant was given the common names Star of Bethlehem and Star Flower. This is the fruit capsule and it contains several tiny whitish yellow seeds however when it matures the fruit capsule shrivels and the seeds turn dark in color this plant is propagated by seeds as mentioned earlier on this plant is used a lot in folklore medicine by various cultures to treat wounds that are very hard to heal and how it works is by helping to speed up the healing process and if there is bleeding it can help to stop it one way in which people use it for wound healing is by boiling the leaves of the plant and then while the water is still warm they use it to bathe the wound another way in which they use it is by pounding the leaves into a paste then this paste is placed on the wound and wrapped. Some people also make a salve with the green leaves along with other herbs. Then they apply this salve to their wound. 
A poultice is said to be useful for injury and pain. In some cultures, it is said that small doses of the plant is useful for colds and that a leaf decoction is useful for respiratory issues like bronchitis and asthma. In some cultures, it is said that a decoction of the leaf and flower is useful for hypertension and lung cancer. The leaves are said to be useful for cataracts and how some people use it for this purpose is by pressing the leaves in water and then using this extract as eye drops. It is said that other people either soak or dip the flowers in water for a short period of time and then they use this extract as eye drops for cataracts as well. The plant is said to be useful for a host of other maladies such as tonsillitis, diarrhea, rheumatism, snake bites, gaseous distension, which is something that causes gas or fluid to accumulate in the abdomen, causing it to expand. Also epilepsy, venereal disease, kidney stones, and toothaches. For toothaches, it is said that the leaves are first washed and pounded, then they are placed on the affected tooth. The plant contains two compounds, which are called lobeline and nicotine. Nicotine is said to help enhance short-term memory, help lower the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease, and help improve blood cell growth. It is said to be very useful for diabetics because they tend to have narrowing of the blood vessels, which causes poor circulation. Lobeline is said to enhance brain activity and is used to treat asthma, whooping cough, and allergies. Star of Bethlehem is sometimes used as an ornamental plant. Here in Jamaica, it is said to be used a lot by spiritual healers and revivalists, and it is said to be used as an ingredient in some hallucinogenic beverages and the brews. In small doses, lobeline and nicotine is said to have psychoactive effects. This means that they can alter how your brain works and cause changes in your mood, awareness, thoughts, feelings, or behavior. In larger doses, these compounds are said to be poisonous and can cause vomiting extreme trembling, and paralysis, among other maladies. The juice of the plant is said to cause a burning sensation in the mouth and throat. There is a white sap that is produced by the leaves and stems of the plant, and it is said to be an irritant and can be absorbed through the skin. And that even in small amounts, if it gets into your eyes, it can cause eye irritation and blindness in both humans and animals. And so for this reason, it is advisable for you to protect yourself by wearing gloves when handling this plant. This plant isn't recommended for pregnant women. That's it for now, guys. For your own benefit and the safety, Please do your own research and see you in the next video.